The tandem front ferry is the easiest way to cross a river current. Let's take a look. This video, sponsored by Eskeef Canoes. Don't let anything come between you and the water, except an Eskeef canoe. The front ferry maneuver moves your canoe from one side of the river to the other, with hardly any loss of ground downstream. The easiest ferries start in an eddy pool, cross a band of fast flowing current, and finish on the other side of the river in another eddy pool. Their purpose may be simply to get to the other side because it has the best lunch spot, but more often, it may also serve to access a portage trail or to line up for a preferred route downstream that begins from the other side of the river. To begin, decide with your partner how best to position the canoe to start the ferry. Point the canoe using draws or prize to pivot the canoe. Tandem canoeing requires teamwork. In this case, the bow's main role is providing momentum, the sterns is controlling the canoe's arc, and both paddlers hold the downstream tilt. Ferries rely on arcs to connect one eddy to another. Arcs will vary depending on how distant the far side pool is from your starting eddy. Initially, your canoe will point upstream and progressively move to pointing across the river to your destination. Once across the current and approaching the eddy pool, change the canoe angle to point across the eddy line. Cutting across the eddy line perpendicular to the flow of the current is key to achieving the eddy pool. Once in the pool, turn upstream and the move is complete. Carving into the pool, Tana partners use a sequence of strokes. The stern initiates the turn with a stern pry or stern draw and the bow follows with a bow cut or cross cut. After a successful initiation, the stern continues with forward strokes. Here is the ferry one more time. First, choose your route and position your boat in the eddy. Once underway, the bow paddler maintains momentum and the stern paddler sets the arc. Keep in mind that the stern may have to correct the arc when crossing the first eddy line. Gradually allow the arc to point to the far side eddy line as the canoe is driven into the destination eddy. Even on bigger, faster water, the front ferry follows the same steps as before. Given the choice of where to do your front ferry, selecting eddies that allow you to cross fairly flat currents will be easiest. The presence of significant waves requires more advanced strategies that will be covered in the video, Ferries Using Wave Troughs. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out Westwood Outdoors for more paddling tips, courses, books, and videos.